Mayo Clinic in uh, Arizona, and you're interested in the differential diagnosis between benign and malignant masses for a laparoscopic approach. So the, the first that you want to look is you have to make a decision that you have to excise it. If you're not going to excise it because you think that it's functional, then you don't have to do any of the testing. So the first decision is to excise it. And then if you're going to excise it, uh, whether it's going to be benign or malignant. Many years ago, there was a study that was done on 720 patients where they did pelvic exam, an ultrasound, and a C125. In the pelvic exam, there was nothing suspicious for malignancy. The uh, ultrasound showed that it was benign methods based on the characters of the ultrasound, and that's years ago, which now has improved the technology in the CA125. When the three of them said this was negative, there was no evidence of malignancy, all the patients got operated and 0% had cancer. So that became kind of the standard model for once you've decided that a mass has to be excised to differentiate between benign and malignant. Has things improved? Yes, in the point of view that the ultrasound now has a Doppler. So if you have an ultrasound, always make sure that you have a Doppler with it because it improves the sensitivity and improves particularly the specificity of the test. And the CA125 now combined with an HE4 and the age of the patient, whether premenopausal or postmenopausal, is more accurate than CA125 alone. Because CA125 has specificity that is not very good. With HE4, specificity improves. With the age of the patients with a formula, it's called a ROVA test, it makes it better. If you decide that the patient is going to need surgery, there's another test called the OVA one, which uses five different uh, components to measure, and it will tell you whether that mass is malignant or is benign. And then whether you want to refer it to a GYN oncologist or not. But the message to take home is that regardless of all the tests you do, and regardless that all of them can be negative, still there's going to be a patient that you can operate and it's going to be malignant. So just be prepared for